Now, say what you want about JaVale McGee and his on-court play or his lackadaisical mishaps he's had throughout his career. But the guy's now got a ring to show for it, and he's also got perhaps one of the craziest roads to success of any player in the NBA. I learned a ton about JaVale making this video, and a lot of it was really surprising to me, so I hope you guys enjoy the content. JaVale was born in Flint, Michigan on January 19th, 1988 to his mother, Pamela McGee. But to fully examine how fortunate JaVale was, we have to step back a few more years. A 6'3 senior, number 30, Pam McGee. JaVale's mom, Pamela, was an All-American basketball player at USC, two-time NCAA champion, and a 1984 Olympic gold medalist in women's basketball, all before JaVale was even in the picture. JaVale's father, George Montgomery, played ball at the University of Illinois and was a second round pick by the Portland Trailblazers, though he was out of the picture by the time JaVale was born. In 1987, while in Los Angeles, Pamela discovered that she was unexpectedly expecting. With Montgomery no longer around, raising a child while playing professional basketball was not something she imagined she could take on. 72 hours away from a scheduled abortion, a counselor at the abortion clinic asked Pamela, do you want to be pregnant? No, she replied. But as she said in her own words, I prayed and prayed and felt like I heard a voice from God. He was telling me, this is your gift. The following day, she went to Faithful Central Bible Church in Inglewood, California, and the pastor delivered a sermon about not aborting one's blessings. Later on that day, she made a call to the clinic to cancel the abortion. A few months later, on January 19th, 1988, Pamela gave birth to JaVale, and the rest is history. At 23 inches long, 11 pounds, and 11 ounces, JaVale was one of the biggest babies ever to be born in the hospital. When she would take four-month-old JaVale to baby and me classes that were designed for kids 13 months and younger, he was so giant that other moms would question what he was doing there. Now, Pamela was still playing basketball professionally at the time, and that required a lot of travel by air. She would take JaVale with her everywhere that she went, and she frequently found herself arguing with airline employees because they would never believe that he was younger than two. During Pamela's professional basketball and coaching career, JaVale would always show up to practice and shoot with the team. He'd call all of the other players on his mom's team his aunts. By the time JaVale was 14, he was already 6'2 and wearing a size 17 shoe. When JaVale was 15, he attended Detroit Country Day High School, the power that produced Chris Webber and Shane Battier. JaVale said that throughout high school, he would work out with his mom at 6 in the morning before school. He ultimately ended up graduating high school at Hales Franciscan High School in Chicago with a 4.5 GPA. When it came to college, all JaVale knew was that he wanted to go to college out west to get as far away from home as possible. JaVale wasn't heavily recruited or sought after by colleges. In fact, he only got two scholarship offers, Nevada and University of San Francisco. JaVale ended up heading to Nevada to play for coach Mark Fox. JaVale was almost full grown lengthwise at that point. The Nevada Athletics website had him listed at 6'11", but he was a physically raw, bone skinny teen who weighed nearly 50 pounds less than he does now. JaVale spent two years at Nevada working on his game and getting in shape for the NBA. After his sophomore campaign in which he averaged 14.3 points and 7.3 rebounds, shooting 53% from the field and 33% from the three-point range, McGee decided to hire an agent and declare for the 2008 NBA draft, where he was ultimately picked 18th overall by the Washington Wizards. Now, it can be debated whether or not JaVale has lived up to his expectations, but let's be honest, it's JaVale McGee after all. Not too many people are debating about this guy's legacy, so I'm not going to either. But it's no question that JaVale has certainly made a name for himself in the NBA, though it might be for all the wrong reasons. Sam Young the other way misses the three. Oh, he's about to throw it away. <laughs> he was on a roll. Cruz Beach Boardwalk. Info at Warriors.com with the Santa Cruz Warriors playing at Oracle for the very first time. Surfing bobblehead. Okay. I wonder if JaVale McGee was going to take that ball out of bounds. He just made Shaq in the fool. AKA Tragic Bronson. <laughs> he was a wizard. He was terrible. <laughs> Tragic Bronson, give it up. Terrible wizard. He's a bad guy. JaVale's reputation has somewhat been blown out of proportion relative to the amount of mistakes he's actually made. Shows like TNT's Jacked in a Fool have helped carve out this image that JaVale is the human embodiment of the blooper reel, but in reality, JaVale still possesses otherworldly athleticism and size, and has plenty of highlight reels to boast about. Here's the lob to McGee. Oh my goodness! Oh my god, now Beckham! Oh, McGee catches it! Oh, woke the crowd up a little bit. Great 
Kicks it out to Wilson Chandler. To the key. Oh, my and he goodness. The right hand. Oh, my goodness. Get out of the way. Wow. Wow. That was kind of like a la Blake Griffin. He threw that. Now watch. Now watch Jabil McGee. Bill McGee, he has been a find. Like I said in the beginning of this video, say what you want about JaVale McGee in his career, but this guy's earned every bit of what he's accomplished. And now he's an NBA champion, and depending on how much longer Golden State decides to roster him, he might end up with three or four rings by the time his career is over. He might not be the centerpiece of the Warriors, but he's definitely made an impact on the team. Even when he's just sitting on the bench, he might be the league's best cheerleader and teammates can respect that kind of character. Just like so many other players, it's been a long path to the NBA for JaVale and his mother. But it looks like all the hard work he put in with his mother as a child has paid off. And it looks like all of her hard work has paid off too. Hopefully I made you guys tear up a bit at the end there. But really, thanks for watching guys. And if you have any other suggestions for players you'd like me to do before the fame month, put it in a comment below.